All right, I got a cheap Craigslist find for, would you guess, $75. It's a Troy built 500 or 5,550 watt generator. The guy was asking $250 for this thing. And uh, I pretty much looked at the one picture that he sent me of it. And he said that it had a, a rear seal leak. Uh, the recoil on it was broke, or at least it was not broken. It was just the rivets had came loose. And uh, the carburetor had a problem with it. So I decided that, you know, I'll go ahead and see if he'll take less. And, you know, kind of talk to him for a couple days about it and got him down to $75. So... Here it is. Hopefully I'll be able to get some use out of it. It's missing the handle. Uh, it's dirty, but underneath that dirt it looks like it'll clean up real nice. The paint's real real nice on it. It's uh, got a couple scratches on it, but it's not all beat up or anything. It's missing the tire. Um, the muffler's in really good shape. Uh, it's a 10 horsepower Briggs. Um, probably going to see what's in the fuel tank I guess I'll remove that and I'll get into the carburetor and make sure everything's clean there and I'll uh, re-rivet the pull start or the recoil back onto the engine and check the oil and everything and see if it has some good output because right now I'm taking a chance I could be spending $75 on a big uh, paperweight but I got a feeling that as a good a shape as it's in, um, I think I'm going to get lucky on this one. So we'll see what happens. So let me go ahead and get started on fixing some things and we'll start it. Okay, so I went ahead and I remounted the recoil on this and it's supposed to be at the two o'clock position and it kind of made it hard to start so I re-drilled these out and put it at the ten o'clock for me I'm right-handed it's easier to pull start it so went ahead and mounted it like that um, the carburetor it still needs to be cleaned a little bit it'll run um, about three quarters open not exactly wide open but one click from wide open it runs so I changed the gas in it flushed out the tank it had a little bit of trash and uh, put some fresh gas in it and some stable the oil fill on this side way down at the bottom there that's what's leaking the guy thought it was rear seal so the alternator in there is turning the fan is blowing all the oil around and it makes it look like a rear seal's going but it's actually not that the cap right here needed to be tightened correctly they had it cross threaded a little bit and it wasn't all the way in so I went ahead and pulled it back off and uh, got the threads right and screwed it all the way back down in there so I bought some tires for it they're five bucks a piece so I went ahead and put two new tires on it because it only had one and it only had half a rim on the other side. So went ahead and fixed that and uh, as far as the handle goes, we had a combine, an old combine, so I took uh, one of the handles out of it and I cut a notch and I bent that tubing over to uh, you know, 45 re-welded the corner and I put a uh, stop bolt right there as you can see and uh, what that'll do is as you're putting it through and you lift it it has something to grab onto so you can lift it up and then there's a hole for a pin so it doesn't come out but for right now I'm gonna leave it out so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and uh, Check it out and see how good it's going to work. So we have it on right there. Give it a pull. Not the choke.
Well, there it is. It runs. It uh, actually works. It generates electricity. Uh, it's not too bad running. It needs a little bit of carburetor work and uh, I think one bolt for the mount. And uh, I guess that's it. $75. Another Craigslist find. So hopefully I'll find uh, something a little better next time. And we'll see. So, well, thanks for watching. Uh, until the next video, I'll see ya.